Well, we're going to start doing some glass taping here, and one of the things I always like to do is, is take my, my gauge here and just draw a line. edge of the tape up against. I've already done one across the top around it and this time we're going to use we're going to be using two inch tape which is, is wide enough. Sometimes I'll use three inch but I'll just use two inch today. So I'm marking these things off at an inch. Uh, we already got the top mark but you know you never never hurts to get the pencil in there. Never had hurts to have some extra marks. It all gets painted over anyway. So. There. Yeah, okay. And I've got a, a notch in the end of this thing that I'm able to stick the pencil into. I was thinking of doing glass taping these guys, but they're so they're pretty good shape on the on the rounding over here with the, the filling and everything that I I don't think I'm going to do it. Um, you remember we had that great big fillet in behind here, so I'm not going to worry about that. So. <laughs> Way off camera. Hands over here. Okay. So much for that. Let's get some glass out. Got my toothbrush out for today. We'll put a little bit over the nose and along the edge here just to give it some stickability. I probably have enough epoxy on here to uh, wet out the tape. Just by letting it soak. But check for, uh, don't get too much out there. It starts dribbling on you. plastic around to put everything on. And then we'll start placing the tape. Just just up to the edges. Because uh, we'll be you can go up the side a little bit here, Warren. As we're going to be trimming to the uh, Fillet edge right in here. Okay. Get that down, take a good look, see if you're on your line or not. And then just kind of roll it over. Just kind of hold it in place there a little bit. Let the epoxy we put on already underneath seep in. And you see how it is it as it rolls over nicely here uh, that we've done our homework on making sure that this edge is nice and round. Okay. Now we'll come out and do a little final wet out. Keep an eye on on your edge as you're doing this. Don't get too. <laughs> I was getting too carried away checking out the uh, those dry spots. Go ahead and let them absorb the epoxy. 
come back after we've done most of it. To fill any areas that are that are dried off. Okay. Just kind of stroke over the edge. Remembering to look at your line along here that you're not pulling it over the edge. I've got the other sides and the bow seat done, so... See again, this is where we wanted to round these edges really well. Get this stuff to roll over. I guess if it wasn't for the copyright laws, I'd have music playing in the background. <laughs> yeah, I'll get some epoxy on here to hold this down. Put a little angle in here. Nah. One of the things uh, I've gone ha handheld here. One of the things I did was I went around with my uh, uh, flexible uh, putty knife there and was looking for runs. And so you can see some spots along there where I've scraped out the uh, excess epoxy into where uh, it won't be a problem and I can sand it down. So I got all the, all the corners are done on this. And I got the bow seat. It's been taped also. And you can see the uh, scrape marks out there where I took the excess out. 
So, we'll come back tomorrow after that cures and sand it down. And then uh, we can start with the, uh, the last of the uh, easy fillets around the edges. Well, I'm using my little multi-tool uh, to take down the uh, selvage along the edge of the uh, tape here where it's uh, when it's woven it rolls over itself and then goes back on the other direction on the weave and so when it um, dries out it tends to stand, stand proud and I've had comments for, from people uh, to say well it didn't stick well it it won't well it's it's stuck but it's it's proud so you got to sand it down and uh, just give the glass face just a light touch up. A lot of times I'll use uh, this flat surfaces. Uh, I'll just do it by hand just to get any little hairs that might be broken uh, glass fibers from sticking in you. So let me go ahead and continue on this and we'll come back. I've already done the bow and the stern seat, but basically you're just going along the, uh, the edge here. You don't need to get into the uh, wood or the um, glass tape itself. Now that I got all the selvage done, I want to do around the perimeter of the uh, of the hull down. I'll get your hand out of the way one down in here so I can get that ready for uh, filleting. So. I had another brain fart the other day for these gaps in here. I've already got one in here. Uh, you can't see it. I'll come and, and, and do another take. But I take a plastic bag, just open it up until you get some length, and just roll it down. Like that. Okay. And then let me get a clamp. that start rolling it up since epoxy doesn't stick to this kind of plastic we're going to make our own I guess they call it oakum stuff the traditional boys use between the pole planks Okay, and I get some uh, masking tape here. This tends to keep it from unwinding. And it also doesn't stick to the epoxy. And I guess Bob, if you're up in Alaska watching this, I guess this could be another uh, article for Did You Know? Or not.
these areas that are wanting to pop up on you just add some, some more tape. I guess I could probably find some way to wrap a plastic bag around a small rope. I haven't tried that yet. Let me set up an angle here. And then you just start pushing it into the crack that you have there. And I'm going to have to cut that there. Yeah, I'll do that later. But then you, you got this in here, so when I come back and put in my, uh, my uh, fillet material, am I on camera here? Yeah. When I put in the fillet material along in here, this plastic will keep it from squeezing in back. And when it sets, I just have to reach inside and pull it out. So, if I don't find you handsome. <laughs>